Good day, 7 graders. Once again, I'm Teacher Wilma, your virtual teacher for this week. This video will guide you in answering your activity sheets. Before we start with the discussion, I want you to open your activity sheets on page 34. You can pause the video while answering your activity sheets. If you have any questions or clarifications about the lesson, you can ask your teacher. Our topic for today is all about equations and inequality. Our most essential learning competency is differentiate between equations and inequality. Equations and inequality are both mathematical sentences formed by relating two expressions to each other. An equation is a mathematical sentence indicating that two expressions are equal. It is written as two expressions connected by an equal sign. So let's have an example of an equation. x plus 5 is equal to 10. 2x minus 10 is equal to 5x plus 5. Negative 6x is equal to 36. Next, we go to an inequality. An inequality is a mathematical sentence indicating that two expressions are not necessarily equal, showing one side is greater than, less than, or simply not equal to another value. It is determined by the symbols equal sign is less than, is greater than, is less than or equal to, is greater than or equal to, and is not equal to. So, these are the symbols used in inequality. For example, we have x is not equal to y. x is less than y. x is greater than y. So let's have more examples of equations and inequality through this table. So as you can see from the example of equation, we only use one symbol and that is the equal sign. While in inequality, we use the symbols is less than or equal to, is greater than, is less than, is not equal to, and is greater than or equal to. One is entitled equation or inequality. Direction, write EQ if the statement is an equation. Write IQ if the statement is an inequality. For example, number 1, we have 2x is equal to 7 plus 3. So here, we have the equal sign. So this statement is an equation. So you're going to write EQ only. Example number 2, 5x minus 4 is less than or equal to 7x minus 2. So we have the inequality symbol. So this is, this statement is an inequality. So you have to write IQ. Example number 3, we have 3x plus 8 is equal to 2 plus 4x. So this is, this statement is an equation. Last example, we have 3 fourth x is greater than 2x minus 5. So we have the inequality symbol, so it is an inequality. For activity 2, you're going to classify the following expressions as an equation or inequality. You're going to write your answer in the table. So always remember... If it is an equation, you can see an equal sign. If it is an inequality, you could see an inequality symbols. For activity 3, you're going to translate the verbal phrase to mathematical phrase and 
later on you're going to classify whether it is an inequality or equations. Your lesson in week 3 with Ma'am Charlene Balgoa is related to your activity 3. Before we proceed, let's take a look at the symbols and keywords that could help you in answering your activity sheets. So as we know, we have the four fundamental operations. We have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So for addition, we use the plus sign. For subtraction, we use the minus sign. For multiplication, we use the x, dot, or a parenthesis. So since we are now dealing with variables, so, hindi na tayo gumagamit ng x to represent multiplication. We're going to use the dot or the parenthesis. Next, for division, we have the division sign or the fraction bar. So, what are the keywords that is related to addition? So, you have increase by, the sum of, added to, and more than. For subtraction, we have decrease by, the difference of, diminished by, and subtracted from. For multiplication, we have multiplied by the product of times or of. For division, we have the keywords divided by the quotient of and the ratio of. We also have these following symbols to help you answering your activity. So this symbol stands for is less than, this symbol is greater than, this symbol is less than or equal to, is at most, is greater than, or equal to is at least. So the equal sign stands for is, is equal to or result to. Then this is for is not equal to. So let's have an example for activity 3. So you have 5 times a number n is less than 45. So our keyword there is times n is less than. So, we could write the answer using a dot. So, 5 times n is less than 45. Or, using a parenthesis, 5 times n is less than 45. Or, we can simply write, we can remove the dot and the parenthesis in our answer. You have 5n is less than 45. Kasi, variable lang yan at saka Number, pwede natin tanggalin yung dot and the parenthesis. We move on with the next example. The ratio of a number k and 18 is written as k divided by 18 is 3. Or you can write it using a fraction bar. K over 18 equals 3. Another example, the product of 9 and a number A is greater than or equal to the sum of 2 and 3. So, the product of 9 and a number A is written as 9A is greater than or equal to the sum of 2 and 3. So, you have 2 plus Three. Next example, 3 times a number W is 30. So to write this in mathematical sentence, you have 3 W equals 30. We move on with our last example. We have the quotient of a number M and 20 is greater than 10. So, we can write it as, using a fraction bar, we have m over 20 
is greater than 10. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next virtual instruction from our team. Thank you!